So this is the old bit and then I'll, I'll show you the, the, new, the new bit. So now you cover this with lard or? Well, it, yeah, it's called sunya. Sunya. That's fat and the spices, I think pepper, just a little bit. Pepper. Interesting. Yeah. And do they also add rice flour? Sometimes I've heard that they'll add rice flour with the lard. Not that no? I know. <laughs> okay. Fresh meat, the fresh leg, and it's, been, it's salted right away. Is it buried or just they It's just they, they, covered? They, well, you could see it from the machine. They're going in for a second salting. So I think this whole machine is brushing off the salt. So are the ages separated, like one end is younger and one end's older, or? Well, it's not separated by age, but, but needs, I think. Needs? Yes. Okay. The ones that are closest to the windows are the ones that actually need the more curing. Okay, that okay, makes sense. Because they need more hair, and the ones that stay in the middle, they're just like, they need still need So there's no air conditioning or heating, it's oh, just it's done by windows? It's only in Karma and Nagirano. You can actually make parma ham because the condition of the hair outside it just it's just from here mm. and it's perfect for the ham. So the, the hair just you know helps the ham. Do you try to maintain a consistent temperature or does it help the ham to go from cold in the winter to warm in the summer? Is the oh. fluctuation good for the ham or not? No, not really. So do you ever use the uh, smelling tool, the bone? Well, they use it and it's, it's the smelling tube is um, horse bone. Horse bone. Yes, yeah. they would just puncture the ham in different places and they would just smell it and see how the thing is going, <laughs> you know. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I wonder what the history of that is. I wonder why it's a horse bone. Uh, I know, it, you know the, the horse bone is because it has horse, so it will just trust the smell better for kind of bones. So they found out somehow that puncturing the, the ham with the horse bone is better because you can smell it for longer. So here's some of the delicious ham we just saw being made. And they sent us to a little shop down the street. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's fantastic. That really is the best. They use, or they usually have like two masters in house that will use these and go and test all the hams. So they stick it into the ham and then smell this and from that they're able to decide if it's a good or a spoiled inside. But I asked today because I never understood why they used horse bone and it's because of all of this, these little pores. So it's a more porous bone than I guess produced by other animals and uh, they figured out this is the best one for you to smell.